Okay. So Albert Einstein, when he wrote his general theory of relativity, which is the understanding of gravity and the structure of space-time across the universe, mm -hmm. it would be applied that way by people like later than that theory. Right. He didn't do it all, but he laid the foundations for it. Okay. okay? In his equation, there's a mathematical term that if it had a physical reality, it would be an anti-gravity force. And Are we talking the famous E equals MC squared no, equation? No, no, oh, no, no. Okay, okay. So I was going to say. This is an equation for the universe, and he said, well, all the galaxies oh, in the universe. That's brilliant. I already see it. Wait, wait, wait. All no, the galaxies in the universe left to themselves would have the universe collapse Come, onto on itself. Right. But, so, we, but we're not collapsing. Right. So this term oh, would be this pressure force pushing against everything keeping it in balance but we don't know anything that's doing that and so he puts it in there because he has no other way to understand a universe that would not that collapse doesn't on collapse okay he has no way to understand it so he leaves it in it's called the cosmological constant and many many decades later by the way when i'm in graduate school we when we calculate cosmology we have to put in the constant and say it equals zero you have to do that because it's, it belongs in the equation, okay? When Hubble discovered that the universe was expanding, then it's no longer a static universe, and he doesn't need the pressure there to hold it no, up against collapse. You don't. And, and then, he said, then he discarded it as this non-physical thing that the math gave him, but it has no physical counterpart, and he called it his greatest blunder of his life. Oh, my goodness. Until we discovered this negative gravity pressure in the universe that it's called dark energy. Exactly. A Nobel Prize has been given for it. Yeah. A Nobel Prize was given for what he rejected. And so Einstein's biggest blunder was saying that was his biggest blunder. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So anyhow, that's he was wrong but right.